and um, tell us it must be good to uh, be back in Perth and be back in home, home surroundings, back in your own bed. Yeah, it's been a really nice feeling to, to settle back into home the last few days. Um, we're obviously all looking forward to it um, after our last hub and, yeah, nice to be home and just settling back into our own beds and stuff like that and, and getting back into a routine here in Perth, which has been really nice. Can you, can you talk us through what the, the next few days and what the next few weeks are like for you guys in, in terms of training and stuff? You've got to, you know, pick a go to it from the club and then you're pretty much stuck at home after that? Yeah, it's um, it's a bit of an interesting setup. We're really lucky to be in quarantine and able to, to access the club and, and be able to train and, and play, obviously. So um, that's one positive that gets us out of the house and doing things a little bit differently. But um, yeah, to, this week um, and next is a really good chance to, to actually train a few things that we haven't been able to train um, over the last few weeks, obviously being in, in a condensed fixture and um, obviously the AFL protocols that we're dealing with at the moment too. So um, we get a good opportunity to train some of the things that, um, that yeah, we... we want to improve on or, or see more of. So um, it's, it's great to get the whole group together and get a better look at things out on the training track. Liam, uh, Mitch from the West, there's two options for you guys to play this weekend, Collingwood and the Western Bulldogs. Do you have a preference for who you'd like to play? Uh, no, I don't have a preference. <laughs> I can't be going label on those. That, um, yeah, obviously it's, it's taken to the last round to, to figure out um, how the finals are going to be shaped. So... Um, Two exciting teams that we're going to come up against. Um, either one of them are going to be a big challenge, but um, we think we'll, we'll be ready to, to take on that cha- challenge at home, which um, we're also really excited about there as well. Any chance you could give us a rundown of what the challenges are for each of those teams, just in case after tonight we find out who you're playing? Yeah, obviously, um, you know, we saw the Bulldogs last night. They play a, a pretty exciting brand of footy and um, got us by a couple of points in the hub last time, so... Um, we know how they play. They, they play an exciting brand, a quick brand, and um, that's what we expect from them in a final when, when the contest ramps up again. And um, I think Collingwood have just they've been um, a successful side over the last few years, and we all know what they can bring on their day as well. So it'll uh, be an interesting game to watch this afternoon. Um, but as I said, whoever makes it through, um, we'll, sort of, we'll be waiting and ready for the challenge and excited to, to face off. How has it been now? You're back at home. How are you feeling as a group? Do you feel a bit more settled now? Yeah, it's, it's been nice to, to get back and reset. I suppose we've um, we've been joined by a few boys that didn't come over to the hub with us that are um, that are on the mend from their injuries and, and surgery. So um, good to be back within our four walls and um, back at home, obviously. And um, yeah, it's just been nice to to hit that reset button and and um, gear up. I suppose for for the next part of the year, which is um, which is the business end, which we all want to be a part of. So we've, we've put ourselves in a position there to to have a crack and um, just go and enjoy this little reset while, while we can. Miss the top four again this year. Um, obviously makes it pretty hard. You've got to play every week to play. But we're we'll playing a grand final to win a grand final. Do you believe you can do that? Yeah, oh, the belief's got to be there. Um, obviously, it's it's a win-at-all-cost um, scenario that, we, that, we've, um, that we're in now. And, um, yeah, it's, it's really exciting for us. It's, um, it, it's sort of a a good way to be because the only way we can do is to win so um there's there's no ifs or but about it but um yeah we're excited to face a challenge and um as, as i said we'll, we'll find out who that is um after today's result for yourself liam you've spent a bit more time in the midfield now and this talk yo might not be available for that first final is that something you think you can do filling that role for that first final no matter who they're playing uh, yeah, it's it's something that um, that I was called upon to do. Um, play a bit of midfield time. It's been a few years since I've, I've been in there, but um, I've enjoyed a couple of weeks there. But obviously, with with some numbers coming back and, and all bearing, they get through their fitness tests and, and selection and everything like that. Um, yeah, happy to, to play my role where, wherever it is. Um, obviously, it was a, it was sort of thrown into the midfield a little bit, but um, as I said, this week is a, is a good opportunity to keep training it. So if I'm needed in that position, um, the next couple of weeks will be, will be good for me as well. But um, yeah, it might be. Uh, hopefully, we've got a, a few boys back in that midfield, and um, there's a couple of headaches, I suppose, at the selection table as to, to where we're putting all the boys. So um, we'll just go where I'm put. Liam Paddy Sweeney from Channel Nine. In terms of um, home quarantining, it's your second stick now. Is it more mentally challenging the second time round, and, and what sort of the pros or the cons with it? Um, I wouldn't say it's mentally challenging. It's um, as I said before. It, it, we're quite lucky in that um, we're able to come into the footy club and, and to train and obviously allowed to play um, when it comes down to it. So um, 
that's a, it's a good release, I suppose, for for not being stuck at home. Um, it, it's it's obviously uh, you know it's a, you, you suppose you can't get cabin fever, but it's um, yeah, it, it's nice to get out. Um, the cons are there's there can't be too many. We're back at home, um, which is really nice. We've we've done two hubs now, so um, it sort of feels like a little bit of a routine coming back and, and settling into this quarantine period. So. Um, but it's it's exciting that we that we're in finals now and um, the business end of the year is coming, so uh, we've always got that to look forward to. Were you watching on yesterday wearing a Sydney Swans jumper? I mean, it must have been pretty tight there, and a bit, little bit nerve wracking towards the end. Yeah, I, I definitely watched a bit more footy than I usually would yesterday. Um, but yeah, it was a yeah Sydney took it right up to the Cats, I suppose, and um, yeah, it was a good game of footy to watch. Um, edge of the seat sort of stuff at the end there, but um, yeah. No matter the results, we're just happy to, to be in finals and, and be in the race again. In terms of um, Yoey, obviously he hasn't done any running at the moment. How much of a loss would it be if he's not back for the season because he's sort of that midfield bull who does a lot of grunt work, isn't he? Yeah, Yoey's obviously um, a great player. He's multiple BNF winner at our footy club and, and we love what he brings um, both on and off the field. But um, I think what we've shown in the last, um, or since, um, he's, he's been missing um, that the boys are ready to step into those roles and um, to fill them where we need to so he's obviously a, a great player for our side but um, we've got belief in our squad that we can we can fill that role and, and play um, play as a collective and, and, and do well um, without Yoey there but he, he'd be great to have back um, in the mix that's for sure because we love what he brings Tim Kelly in the last few rounds look like he's starting to get back to his best. How excited are you to see him in finals? And do you really think he can light it up and help you guys get through to that grand final and premiership? Yeah, uh, TK's been awesome the last few weeks. And um, yeah, I think in his few years that he's been playing, he's shown that he's a big game player and likes the stage. So um, yeah, we expect him to play his role um, first and foremost. But um, yeah, he, he can go a bit above, above and beyond um, the, the usual players like myself. So yeah. Um, He's those blokes that, that you sometimes look to on, on those big stages. And I think he did it a couple of weeks ago against St Kilda, really stood up there. And, and the last few weeks, he's been been really good. So, um, yeah, we, we don't expect too much from Tim, um, apart from playing his role. But we, we know that he can bring some pretty special things to our, to our footy team. Liam, in terms of beating the top four sides, um, I mean, you, you got over the line against Geelong, but you, you weren't able to against any of the other three in those conditions. How are you going to change those results to, to ultimately try and get the premiership later on this year? Um, I think when, when it comes down to finals footy, it's it's the, the contest lifts, everything lifts about finals footy and um, it's been a while since we played a couple of those sides. Obviously, Richmond was a little bit um, later on in the year, but um, we're expecting ourselves and we, and we need to lift in, in pretty much all the areas because um, finals are a different brand of footy and... Um, it's it's all about winning the contest and, and field position, and it's it's not usually as pretty as what um, some of the in season games are. So um, the biggest thing for us is is at the source is just to to win as much contest as we can and um, to keep the ball getting into our forward fifty, and that's that's ultimately how finals are won. It's pretty simple footy, um, and, and it's just around the hunt and the the want for the ball. How excited are you to play in front of thirty thousand again at home? Yeah, that, that's that's awesome um, to be able to play in front of a home crowd and a few more people than what we've been used to the last few weeks. Um, yeah, that, that's awesome. We we love our fans. We we love what they bring, the energy that they bring to our games, and it certainly helps us along. So um, to have them back uh, behind our shoulders would be awesome to to be a part of that. Um, there's, there's no real long-term plan with this thing. It's uh, I've blamed isolation and quarantine and not been able to get a haircut. Um, but uh, while I've got it, I just seem to run with it and enjoyed it. But um, yeah, I don't know if it's uh, helped me along a little bit. But um, yeah, it certainly. Yeah, I, I didn't mind it running off the half back with uh, with the mullet. And Mark Mark Nikoski, um told me that I should grow it out and get back to his old days where he had a bit of the long locks flying off the half back. But um, yeah, no long-term plan with it. But we'll see where it takes us. <laughs> 